Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Point Layout 2016 within Revit 2016 and using the face point add points command to add points to the uh, face of a slab. Here I am in a 3D Revit model. If I go over to the Autodesk Point Layout tab of the ribbon, add points panel, I can click face. I'll say that I need to actually uh, put points on the face of the object in a gridded fashion via decimal feet and we'll put it say maybe um, 4 by 4 4 foot by 4 foot grid. We'll give it a name say slab 4 by 4 grid points hit OK and then we'll pick the face of the slab. <clears throat> it'll, obviously, it'll put it in give us a name hit OK and we're done. Right click it hit cancel. Now the reason we uh, give it descriptive information is because we have the ability to manage these points. So if I go here to the Autodesk Point Layout tab, customize and click manage, it'll bring up the window for manage points <clears throat> and we can scroll and search by what we created. So I want to say slab 4 by 4 grids, hit apply and all those points are now placed in this secondary window, the right side of this window. I'll hold the shift key down and select all of them. And I can do things like either delete them or I can zoom to each one individually or I can set their color. So let's go ahead and set their color and make it green. And then when we're finished we hit OK and it should do it. If for some reason it's not doing it, <clears throat> um, it may be that your graphics card is not compliant to run with 2016 APL and Revit 2016. So there's another way to skin that cat. If we select the family and go to the type properties, we'll give it a, um, a description and just call it APL2016. Hit OK. And then we will go ahead and use our visibility graphics override dialog box. I just type in VV or VG. Go to filters, add a filter. And we'll create a new one and give it a name. We'll call it APL2016. Hit OK. These points are generic models. So we'll go to generic models, check it. And we'll set that rule to be if the description is equal to APL26. Then apply that filter accordingly. And so I would want the weight to be a little stronger. <clears throat> I want the color to stand out. And I also want the patterning as well to be the same color. It doesn't have to be the same color. Uh, and then solid so it's easy to see. Hit apply, hit OK, and now they're green. If you have your thin lines command turned uh, off, if you turn it on, now you can see those points very easily. And that's how you go ahead and place uh, points on a floor slab using the face command with grid method. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it.